So it's 2013, GTA 5 has just been released, you play through the story mode and now you want a taste of GTA Online. F okay, I'll wait. Okay, let's do this. What the f***? Now you could finally play GTA Online. Have fun, build up your account, spend lots of time getting everything you want in the game. Nope. Didn't happen. What? I was there. I did that. I had a lot of cars, an office, a nightclub. No. No. So that's not a joke. This is actually happening. People are having their accounts completely reset. Money, rank, cars, properties, outfits. Uh, that's kind of fucked up, man. Basically, you know that character you've spent so long with, you know them better than you know your own family? Let me put it this way. They've went out to get some milk and cigarettes, but they're not coming back. So this has happened to a lot of people who did that frozen chip money glitch, where you can trade in your chips over and over again. Some people got trillions from that glitch. Then they got an email telling them their account has been completely reset. Some people actually didn't care, but then there's everyone else. Yeah, a lot of people are mad about this one. But was this a big mistake for Rockstar? So people do money glitches because it's easier to get money with them, obviously. Some people might not have time to properly grind for money, some people don't see the point in doing that if a money glitch can get them a lot more money in a shorter time. And it's not a secret that everything in GTA Online is very expensive and most people don't want to spend real life money on shark cards. Now most people who do money glitches are not affected by these glitches in a negative way. Most of them get to keep their money or in some cases with some glitches the money is wiped from their account but they get to keep everything else and some people spent the money on expensive vehicles to sell later before the money wipe hit so that they could get money again and then they've not really lost much. Getting banned or completely reset for doing money glitches is actually pretty rare. Like I said, at the most, most people just get money wiped and even then money wipes don't happen that often. People being reset like this was kinda unexpected since Rockstar doesn't usually do stuff like that, well at least on this scale. So I think a lot of people feel like it's safe to do money glitches because the only thing they have to worry about is a money wipe and there are ways around that as well. So more and more people do glitches. Rockstar may be caught on and realised what's going on here. Of course there will be times where people have been banned or reset for glitching but it's not that common. Until now. This glitch was actually the second coming. There was another one of these glitches before but it didn't last long before it was patched so not too many people got to take advantage of that one and Rockstar didn't really wipe people for that one. But then it came back a few months later. This time it was around for a lot longer and a lot more people did it and more money was made from it because they had more time with it this time. And of course this time a lot of people had their money wiped and a lot of people lost their whole account. Now there could be a few reasons why Rockstar did that. Number 1. A lot of people did this glitch and it's an insane glitch, it's ridiculous the amount of money people were getting from it, some were getting billions or even trillions, it was ridiculous and Rockstar maybe saw how ridiculous it was and thought that was too much and decided to reset accounts. They also maybe caught on to the whole money laundering thing where people spend the glitched money on expensive cars so if there is a money wipe then they can get all of their money back by selling the vehicles. Of course, they can't do that if the account has been completely reset since they won't have the cars anymore. Number 2. They were trying to scare people away from doing money glitches. Yeah, it could just be a scare tactic from Rockstar with hopes that it will stop people from doing glitches. The glitch we're talking about here actually did still work when people were reset and this maybe scared people away who didn't do it but were thinking about it and it might scare people away from doing this glitch in the future if it ever shows up again or even other glitches. And number 3, they couldn't patch the glitch. They maybe felt like it was taking too long to patch it. It's not a secret that a lot of people are working from home right now and not as many people will be in the Rockstar offices. 
Actually, the guys at Rockstar are not patching glitches as often as they usually would. Glitches are lasting longer than usual now. Like I said, this crazy money glitch still worked when people were reset. Maybe they couldn't patch it at the time or it was taking too long and by resetting people, it might scare people away from doing that glitch. But was this a big mistake for Rockstar? Of course this has happened and a lot of people are very, very angry with them and I've seen a lot of people saying they're now done with GTA, they're never playing the game again. I feel like a decent number of players could now be leaving after this. Now of course players who do money glitches don't usually buy shark cards because they don't need them. So Rockstar and Take Two are not really losing money there, but maybe these players have some friends who play GTA and would maybe buy shark cards, but they're now telling them they're done with the game and telling them not to play GTA anymore. Maybe they'll listen and not play anymore. Now I think some people will be saying that out of anger and they will come back to the game maybe sometime in the future, but some of them will never come back after this. There are also players who were reset but are just shrugging it off and still playing, whether they're starting again or going on another account. That's the thing, a lot of glitchers have multiple accounts and they might have one that didn't do the glitch but still has a lot of stuff on it. I think overall, there are a lot of people who didn't do the glitch and even people who don't do any glitches who will still play GTA of course, so there will still be a lot of people who are playing GTA online. Also, Rockstar might have set an example for the future. Some people might not want to do glitches as much on GTA 5 or even future games since Rockstar did that. But people being angry about this brings me on to the next thing. I get it, you're pissed off at what happened, you're allowed to be pissed off and I can see where they're coming from. Here's someone's account that they've been playing on for years and now it's all gone because of one glitch they did. I can understand the frustration and then there's the other side, people telling them they shouldn't be mad about it, it was to be expected, you only have yourself to blame and stuff like that. I'm not taking sides here, but what I will say is yeah, they did a glitch, they weren't supposed to be doing that and Rockstar decided to punish them for it. It says in Rockstar's terms that they can do that, even though this might seem a bit overkill compared to how they've done things in the past, they're technically not at fault here, but of course anyone who had this happen to them is allowed to be pissed off about what happened, within reason. But anyway, I want to know what you think of all this, it's a pretty big deal. Are you one of the people who have been reset? What do you think about the people who have been reset? Stuff like that. Let me know in the comments. But anyway, I hope the jokes and stuff at the start of the video helped brighten the mood since I know most people watching this have been reset. But if you enjoyed this video in any way then please drop a like and also subscribe with post notifications turned on so you don't miss my future videos. Thank you for watching, have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.